from the gold medalists from 2010. The number three seat will take you to... So it's Woon serving to Gutter, the two left-handers. Good return of serve, but absolutely no movement there from Dwala Gutta. And that really is a sign of nerves to me. Vivian Hu, the lady serving, was very impressive in the semi finals. Huge swings from Juala Gutter. That's when the Indians are at their best. Gutter at the net, Ponapat at the rear court. Joanna Gutter, one of the few players in World Badminton, to serve forehand in doubles. out there, understandable. Yeah, nice idea to change your pace. A little bothering if you're an Indian fan of the Chuala Gutta showed such disappointment after the mistake there. Oh dear. Never got behind the flick serve. Six, four. Oh, to the gutter. Yeah, look at that determination, that's a bit better. She looked very disappointed after she made the overhead error. Distance.
position. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to see this a lot during this women's doubles final. Joala Gutta really intercepting and reading so well at the front of the court. I suppose the ideal tactic for the Malaysians is to get Gutta to the back of the court and make a move from side to side because when she comes forward, well, I was going to say she's usually brilliant, making an error there. Clever serve out wide. Gets terrific power on the serve. On a part. Control proceedings from the front of the court. Great awareness of where the gaps are and great reading of where the shuttle's going to come so she makes sure she's in the right place at the right time. That was super. Long ten all. See him at tournaments all around the world. Hey. And it's more good judgment. And it means that the Indians have that one point advantage at the interval. Simple and patience. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. The Tigers of Malaysia. I, th I actually thought the Tigers were in India, but. Oh, it's 
a good serve. But he's got to get the return into play. Oh, that's a brilliant serve. Deceptive flick. Just wide. Service over. 11, 13. No! Service over. We're well, hardly 13, seeing any rallies 11. at the moment, are we, David? Players either making a, a, an error or going for early winners. And this time on serve, there's Oroslin Razak. 15. champions love to be on the attack the attacking formation one player at the back of the court one at the net and the Malaysians usually love to defend so could be an intriguing match but I'm a great believer that you can't win matches by defending you see here they go just quite happy to lift the shuttle the Malaysians and again Finally, when Wung Ki Wei moved forward to the net, she made the difference. from both pairs. part of the opening game. Look, 
completely different when they're prepared to command the net area and hit the shuttle in a downward direction, just as they did there. Yeah, lovely serve and a great third shot from Vivian Hu. Three game points. fans thoroughly enjoying being caught up in the uh, Malaysian celebrations. Delhi on one side of the arena and Kuala Lumpur on the other. It's fabulous. Well, they pulled away, uh, winning the last uh, four points of that opening game for the Malaysians. Who and Wound. points in the second game. Oh, what a lovely return of serve from Vivian Hu. Look at that, she just guides it down. Key was taking it early. Interesting that initially Wing Ki Wei keeping Dwala Gutta at the back of the court. So I said in the early stages, perhaps their tactics they should not only keep her to the back but try and move her from side to side. Pushed it long. Three, four. 
Yeah, and I think Ponipa is looking very nervous. Normally she wouldn't miss one like that. And missed it by a big margin in badminton terms. Coaches urging on the Indian players. It's all run of errors from Ponapa, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's nicely done. I have to say, I'm very pleased to see the Malaysian pair being more positive than they were in the initial stages of this final. They are looking to hit down, involve the net player. Mm. Madhu wants them to block the defence. Oh dear, that's shocking. She's really struggling. Six. the line this time. Well, I think it's going to be a battle of the two left-handers at the front of the court, which can get the better. Yeah, they're both wanting to hunt the nets. Quite happy to leave the oh, oh, service fault called. Above the waist. Over. Seven, all. So often happens on the flick serve. Shwini Ponapa is beginning to get a little frustrated with herself after that race, swiping Seven. the racket. Well, I, I feel sorry for her at the moment, David. Ashwini Ponapa. Because she's having a, a nightmare of a game so far.
once again the channel attack right in between the two Indian players. Both players leaving it for the other. Just too many mistakes by the Indian partnership at the moment. And it's a two-point advantage this time for the Malaysians at the 90-second break. Is it usual for the two coaches to speak to different players like that one, one on one? It is. It does seem usual in Asia with 11, nine, Asian nations. Eight. It's not the case in Europe. Interception. Over. Really haven't Ten, seen 11. enough of those interceptions from Juala Gutta. Mm. It's a good return of serve from Service Vivian Hu. gone in the racket of Vivian Hu. No, she missed time that defensive one. That's when the string went. What defence from the left-handed Wong Ki Wei. 13, 11. Look committed to a forehand defence, managed to change and play the backhand. Confidence all of a sudden. 14, oh, that's more 
the sort of form we expect from Gutter at the net. 12, 14. Yeah, you've got to be uh, reliant to a certain extent. I mean, we really haven't seen enough of Dwala Gutter, have we? She hasn't been involved enough, but then the rallies haven't been extended, and because Ashwini Ponapa has been making some very nervous errors, hasn't been playing, able to play her partner into the rally. That's much better, the channel attack that time from Ashwini Ponapa. That was perfect. That's what we normally expect from the Indian combination. I mean, they're a world-class pair. They won a bronze medal at the 2011 World Championships. from Bonaparte. Pushed it wide. Champions back level in this second game. Yeah, I think it caught the line. Well, now the nerves appear to be in a way. Six straight points for the defending champions have transformed this second game. Oh, that's well taken off the tape. And it appears uh, that Ponapa has certainly we found her form. And a well worked rally. That was the one that did the damage from Vivian, who drive defence across court. No, oh, she was so nervous earlier, wasn't she? Ponapa. So many errors, but now finds the winners.
extraordinary how things have turned around since the Malaysians were leading by a game of 14-11. Now it's four game points to the Indians. This is where the nerves really start to jangle. Just two left in terms of game points. And now it's just one. the most remarkable cross-court shots. Look at that from Vivian, who played to perfection, but what was so good was the vision to see the gap there. That's when they're at their best. On a pass, sets it up. Gooda puts it away. Another game point. The fifth Service return. Service over. 21 all. Oh, you won't see better than that. That really was magnificent. point for the first time. Clinch the gold medal, 21-17, 23-21. Uh, the thumbs up from Wookie Way. And uh, 
Fraser at the rear, Lawrence Smith and Gabby Adcock, the bronze medalists from England, beating the second and Malaysian pair in a very long bronze medal match last night. Medals to be presented by Paul Eric Hoyalas and President of Badminton World Federation. Will be presented by President Badminton World Federation, Paul Eric Hoya. The only European to have won an Olympic gold medal in badminton, won the men's singles in Atlanta. Accompanied by Vice President Commonwealth Games Scotland, Fiona McEwen. Fiona McEwen, who uh, presented the medals for the mixed doubles. This time we'll present the Quakes. The winners of the bronze medal, England. Represented by Gabby Adcock and Lawrence Smith. For Gabby, a complete set in these games. Bronze in the women's doubles, silver England, in the team. Represented by and of course, gold in the mixed doubles. Gabrielle Smith, Adcock. A first appearance on the podium of a major games. And Lauren Smith. Lauren got her medal first. Gabby on the right, of course. She's forgotten mine. Oh, <laughs> lovely. What about me? Hey. The winners of the silver medal, India. Juala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapar, gold medalist in Del Delhi four years ago. They have to settle for silver India, in Glasgow. India, represented by Ashwini Ponapa. And Juala Gutta. Was both of them this time. Gold medalists and Commonwealth champions. Malaysia. New Commonwealth Games champions and gold medalists. Vivian Hu and Woon Ki Wei from Malaysia. Malaysia, represented by Vivian Hu Kamun and Woon Kwei. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Malaysia.
Glasgow, let's celebrate our Commonwealth Games medalists. Did so well, didn't they? The Malaysians to save those five game points and to deny the Indians the chance to go to a final game. And what a great game it's been for Gabby Adcock on the right. Three medals, England's most successful athlete in the Babbitt competition.